It's time for the Dr. Tanji Show. Hey, you're on the air with Dr. Tanji. Talk to me. As soon as I hear your voice, Dr. Tanji, my day is better. Hey, Dr. Tanji, I took your advice and made some changes in my life. And you know what? I've been winning ever since. Thank you for your advice. Now, here's Dr. Tanji. Sorry, is that me? Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to the show that was founded on Kingdom Principles, the show that will help you get from where you are to where you want to be. It's packed with people that are doing things in the marketplace and making a difference in right where they are. On this particular show, we discuss quite a bit, but there's a segment called How Did I Get Here? That's where we are interactive, uh, taking questions or what have you from those who have either hit us up on Facebook at at Dr. Tanji Show or Instagram or Twitter or those who wanted to call in at 323-203-0815. Now, I want to make certain I say hello to my lady. Meow. To my right. She's That's back, right. Y'all. That co-pilot is here. <laughs> the Dr. Tanji Show. And like you said, you are a loaded, amazing guest. So feel free to interact on uh, social media and uh you know, these kingdom principles, yeah, uh, we yeah. need them, we love yeah, them, and yeah. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. You heard her, right? <laughs> On today's topic, it's simply use your time wisely. The key to success, you'll hear a lot of, of people say, okay, these seven steps here or these five steps here. I'll say one of the keys to success is your ability to use your time wisely. It's called effective time management, effective use of your time. And to achieve effectiveness uh, with your time is you got to have the correct priorities. It's, It's like first things first. But there's a pitfall to this. Because if you do not know where you are supposed to go if you do not know what you are supposed to be doing you will run into the danger of abusing your currency now time as we know it in this life is currency and you never want to be guilty of of abusing it now or allow others to abuse it as well so to live effectively one of the things that you'll need to do is plan your day with the right priorities. Notice I didn't say good priorities. I have learned the difference between right and good. Doing a good thing makes you feel good, gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling, but good is not always right. In life, you really want to concentrate on doing the right thing. And the way you know you're doing the right thing is, is what you're doing lining up with what God's will for your life is or that blueprint that you kind of sat at his feet, right, and wrote down the vision, okay? And now it's so plain that anyone that comes behind you can read it. That's the right thing. Two, you want to be careful not to be so busy, that your busyness is not purposeful. Oftentimes I'll say I am purposefully busy and I'm, when I say that, I really do mean that. I, you know, what is sleep when you've got an assignment on your life or for your life? And then lastly, one of the things to live effectively, to use your time wisely, is to make certain that you are right where you're supposed to be. Now, what do I mean by right where you're supposed to be? After you've written your, your vision, after you've taken the time to think about, because you, know, you never want to start a project that you can't finish. So in that, in that space of pre-planning and planning, throw your heart over the bar and everything else will follow. Never, ever, ever get into something that you really are not passionate about. 
that's a waste of time. And guys, we don't have that kind of time to waste. This has truly been an eye-opening for me, uh, losing someone as valuable in our community as Nipsey has really shown me that we don't have time to waste anymore. So for all intents and purposes, get busy. No more, no more excuses. Prioritize. Mm-hmm. Do what you're supposed to do and do first things first. All right. Got that. Okay. Got Very good. that. Affirmative. <laughs> and and, and it's amazing you said that because when I uh, look at your uh, Instagram at, doc, at uh, Dr. Tanji show, uh, somebody simply wrote in your comments, I just want to help. Oh, wow. And, and that's, that, 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 that means wow. everything. Yes, it does. So we'll definitely just from that post. reach back out yeah, to yeah, you. Absolutely. <laughs> and let you know how you can help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The gentleman that we've got uh, on the phone on, the, on today's show is someone who has been doing it for 30, over 30 years, using his time effectively, making a dent in the marketplace. This gentleman uh, actually worked as a leader in several Fortune 500 companies, but I like the way he segued into the marketplace and not only is he doing things and I'm going to allow him to explain every good thing that he's doing, every right thing that he's doing, but he's bringing people along with him. I love, love that. So let's say hello to our first guest, shall we? Absolutely. Mr. Doctor, excuse me, Dr. George Frazier, are you there? I am here. Hi, welcome, welcome to the Doctor Tanji <laughs> Show. <laughs> Power broker. How are you, sir? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful opening, by the way. Wonderful opening. Thank you. I love that opening about time management. That's beautiful. I tell people every day, do anything but don't waste my time. Oh. I will get more money, but I will not get any more time. <laughs> and I don't know how much time I have, and I don't want to know because oh. you ain't wasting it. Oh, I love it. It's simple as that. <laughs> Look, that was that was it. I can fade to black right there. Fade to black. <laughs> That's perfect, That's right. George Frazier. Right. Yes. Oh, thank you That's so right. very much, sir, for being here. Well, it's good to be with you. Thank you. And uh, I'm really looking forward to my uh, trip out to your incredible city, one of my favorite cities on earth. Oh, really? The L.A. area. I love. I well, I love California as a uh-huh. state. Yes. And I and I like I love the uh, diversity and uh, the people. I've lots and lots of friends oh, and fans uh-huh. uh, in the in the Los Angeles area, uh-huh. uh, as I am a, a friend and fan of yeah. lots of people there. So. I'll be with you guys starting tomorrow, and uh, we're going to tear the roof off. The oh, side. I love That's it. What tear the roof oh, I love off. It. <laughs> hey. And then, uh, Dr. Frazier, for anybody, uh, our viewers and listeners who don't know, can you talk about uh, how you're going to impact Los Angeles tomorrow with uh, guests and people who can also interact with you uh, live? Yeah, I am excited about the presentation that I'm going to be giving. I'm going to be having a nice sort of close-up conversation at the City Club under the leadership of Linda Morgan uh, and Diode Thompson. Uh, That's tomorrow evening. Uh, And then a a real community-based talk on Friday. Of course, you have to be a member of the City Club unless you're a guest of a member. Um, But uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to unpack a couple of things that I think that are, that are critical. So I, I want to say the next things and still be loved. Okay. <laughs> yes. But I just want to give you an order uh, uh, around the subject matter that I'm going to unpack for black people, straight, no chaser. Um, but w- with love, I remember my, how my father used to, whoop my behind Mm -hmm. and he would whoop my behind but he would do it with love Mm -hmm. and he would keep whooping my behind until I got it right and when I got it right he would stop whooping my behind but I always knew that he was doing it because he was really trying to correct me trying to get me going down the right path so uh, I am going to talk about the state of financial illiteracy Mm -hmm. and what we can do about it and how as black people uh, we can take our people, take our community into the 21st century. So 
I say that by saying, you cannot be black and beautiful in this world without being black and powerful. Hmm. Interpret power as money. Money is the mother's milk of all intentions. And without money, all you have is a great damn intention. So you cannot be black and beautiful in this world without being black and powerful. And as a black man, again, I'm going to say this, and I want to still be loved. We cannot be black and proud in nigger soup. White folks are planning for three generations, and we're planning for Saturday night. The goal for black people in the 21st century is to win, not to look like we're winning. I would rather carry a plastic bag with $5,000 in it than to carry a $5,000 Louis Vuitton bag with $100 in it. That's looking like you're winning, brothers and sisters, but you ain't winning. All right? So unless something changes within the next 30 years, according to all the statistics, all the trends, uh, all of the data analytics, unless something changes, and I'm going to unpack this for you, with cold, hard facts tomorrow, unless something changes, we are headed into a second slavery by 2053. Black median wealth in America, according to all the statistics, the Institute of Policy Studies, newest study, black median wealth will be zero in America. Now, try to operate in a market-based economy in a democratic capitalist society with no money. Hmm. So, we're going to, I'm going to unpack the reasons why I'm going to then unfold how we can address it. And I'm going to provide the solutions for it. Solutions that every single person that will join us uh, on Friday night uh, will love. This is not complicated. I'm going to help people understand what the four pillars for the intergenerational transfer of wealth is so that we can be in alignment with our spiritual teachings. We are out of alignment with our own biblical teachings. Proverbs 13, 22 tells us what a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Amen. Right? Mm-hmm. Black baby boomers will be the first generation of Africans in America that will, that will raise another generation of Africans in America that will not do better than them. So in the 400-year history of our people, we are the only generation of Africans in America to raise another generation that will be worse off. We need our behinds kicked. Yeah. That cannot happen on our watch. Right. So the first quarter of the conversation will be, here's how we got here. Here's why we are still the poorest people in America. 400 years later, we're at the bottom of every single economic statistic that matters in this country. We're at the bottom of every educational statistic that matters in this country. Here's how we got here. And it ain't all our fault. Make no mistake about that. We're all very clear about that. But there's some things, there's some badass habits that black people have. And unless we mitigate those habits, unless we solve those habits, uh, we are headed into a second state. There's some things that we can do. Hmm. I want reparations, according to the latest calculations. Uh, America owes uh, black people, it's all over the board, between $7 trillion and $59 trillion. So, yeah, I support reparations, and I will march for reparations, but I ain't waiting on reparations, and neither must you. Don't wait on it. Support it, but don't wait on it. Urban education is in shambles. It happens to be only our children. America needs to fix urban education so that it meets the same quality of education that uh, middle class to upper middle class white urban education, a white middle class suburban education is, yes, that needs to happen, but I ain't waiting on that. And don't you wait on it. Hmm. Right? So there are things that we can do right now that will mitigate this problem and keep us out of a condition of second slavery. That's where we are headed. It is clear. All of the statistics are clear. This is where we are going. 
So, but we have the solutions. The things that we are doing. Something big that's going to happen at a conference, the 18th conference, the 18th annual power networking conference that's going to happen in Houston, uh, June 26th to the 29th. Forbes named the power networking conference one of the top five conferences in America not to be missed. So there's something that's going to happen at that conference that will change the whole game, right? Mm -hmm. It will change the whole game. So uh, we're going to unpack some things, but we're not just going. I'm not just going to say, "Here's the problem," without giving you meaningful, doable, powerful, um, uh, 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 bold solutions. Because that's what we got to do now. We got to man up and woman up and do something different and do something bold. I love it. And so I know you 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 used to, to specialize in bold. <laughs> I've heard you before, right? In fact, you don't do anything but bold. That's why I love you. This is why I'm on the program. You're bold. I love that. Provocative, interesting, and solution oriented. That's what we have to be about in the 21st century. We are in the state of emergency. Wow. And we and there has to be a sense of urgency in our people Absolutely. and among our people. Now so understand. that's my rant. That's my rant for today. <laughs> that's how you unpack. I love it, Dr. Yeah. Frazier. Yeah. Now I understand why, why Vital Speeches named uh, you as having five of the greatest speeches ever. <laughs> and a Global. top power broker know, in right? America. Uh, yeah. I mean, wow. just, just <laughs> making sense. And, yeah. and like you yeah. said, um, Mr. Frazier, it's 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 so imperative, and it is a, a state of emergency with yes. everything that we're going through in in our, our country, and a shift has to happen immediately. So yes. I'm glad That's you're right. a part uh, of this Absolutely. movement, as we are also very committed to uh, the movement on a daily and consistent basis. So I'm I'm just you know really grateful for the things that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, it's it. it yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, and, and, and I really appreciate your support. I appreciate your words of power. Those words are powerful. Yes, they are. And uh, I, I can't, and by the way, I, I cannot even begin to express with the few moments that I have left the, the criticalness of, of and the role that black women have played in the upward mobility of black people. I, quite frankly, mm-hmm. I don't know if black people would still be around in America if it was not for the role of the black woman. And I think it was the, the great uh, Af- African-centered scholar, Dr. John Henry Clark. I, it was his quote. He said, mm-hmm. the power of the world is between the legs of the black woman. Mm-hmm. And what he was saying is that black women gave birth to humankind. Black people were God's first people, right? And the first human remains, humans as we know them today, were found 75,000 years ago in the Old Dubai Gorge, and it was a woman. It was a black woman. Because if you're hanging out in Ethiopia, baby, you're blue-black, right? You ever see an Ethiopian? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm Blue-black, right? So women, black women, are... are the mothers of humankind and you're powerful and we see that every day and uh, you know black men love you Mm -hmm. or at least black men with their heads screwed on right love you Uh, (laughs) and and so I I, want to thank you for being two strong black women and and speaking your truth to power straight no chaser because that's how we have to have it yeah. And um, I, I, I am. Uh, I took this call, uh, uh, and I knew that I was in. I'm the chairman of two charter schools. I have two African-centered charter schools, and so I was in a board meeting, uh, and I knew that I would have to come out of that board meeting to complete this promise that I made to you for this. 20, 25 minute uh, call, and I'm going to have to run back into the board meeting and tend, tend uh, the business of my. We, we have 300 
inner city children. 60 percent of them are black boys, and and I'm the chairman of the board. So, wow. but this was an important call to connect with you, mm-hmm. so that we could deeply, more deeply connect with the community of uh, of, of, my, of our Los Angeles brothers and sisters, and get them out on on uh, you know if you if you if you remember the city club, come to the city club tomorrow night, Thursday night, and if not, come to our event. Um, our power networking conference event and join us. It's going to be awesome, and uh, I promise you, you anyone who comes uh, will be provoked, uh, educated, uh, and empowered, uh, and 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 see aspirational things uh, that you've never seen, heard before. There's some secrets out here that God has only whispered in my ear, and I will share them with you. <laughs> and I said that with a smile on my voice. <laughs> yeah, right of course you did. So I'll share them with everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Frazier. You are a breath of fresh air. You are definitely a blessing, uh, not only to us here at the, at the show, but to everyone who comes in contact with you. Thank you so very much for what you're doing, so unselfishly. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God Look bless forward you. to seeing you both uh, this weekend. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Frazier. Bye now. Thank you. All right now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, wow. what do you, what is, no, again, oh. l- nothing <laughs> to say. <laughs> Unpack and get Jeez. yourself together. Oh, my god. And make gosh. it happen. Absolutely. Very, very, very potent. Very potent. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you've won the what is it, the presidential, have been yeah, awarded just know. the presidential yeah. medal of freedom. I mean, come on, that's, right, that right. that goes. And and I I love the fact. Medal, um, again, he's someone that we talk about off air a lot uh, about being uh, effective, right. raw. Just, right. just real talk. Absolutely. No over the top. I mean, he said, he said, I, ho- I hope you, you yeah. don't not like me after this, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right. what it is. Yeah. Did, did he not feel like an uncle or Oh, ab- dad no. Absolutely. Or, it's nobody you know? but dad talking. Oh, come on. Nobody but dad oh, talking. And gosh. what really, what really uh, struck me, I mean, the first thing he said was, reminded me so much of my dad. Yeah. He said, yeah, he said, my dad used to tear my tail up. Yeah. And that's what yeah. we don't have anymore. My father's just looking yeah. at me like, oh, you know what time it oh is. Oh, my God. It's Are as simple serious? as that. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I will run around, and, of course, Mom will protect yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that to her, Frank. Yeah, 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 don't yeah. do that to her, Frank. He was like, oh, but she will understand and appreciate oh this gosh. down the line. And that is why, because of Frank Jones, that, you know, I champion and, and everything has to win. And right. how do we fix this? I mean, th- right. that's all I know. But right. I get it. You get it. I get it. Yeah. That, he, yeah. the, and he the, he said yeah. it. Yeah. He said it. Yeah. So he, he yeah. knows. Yeah. And then turning your failures into blessings. Oh my God. Is is, is another oh thing that resonates gosh. with him. So, yeah. yeah. Anything he writes, talk. I mean, Google him and yeah. Yeah. definitely interact and 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 follow if you could not make it to Los Angeles, right. Houston, or any place where he's speaking. Mm-hmm. You'd be very uh, happy, and 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 fulfilled when you do that. Honestly, yeah. this guy's a yeah. wealth of information. He really is. Just what we needed. Absolutely. Yeah, now we're ready, right? Absolutely. All right, let's go. <laughs> Don't forget that you can stay interactive with us at uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Tanji Show. And, uh, of course, we love to hear from you uh, here at L.A. Talk. It's, uh, the number is 323-203-0815. Thank you so very much for all that you guys have done. You have no idea. I know I say thank you a lot, but I am so grateful and so humbled that you put something out there and people will will come and and support. That means a lot. So thank you. And definitely share if you have a movement or something interactive we can support, a shout out, be involved in, uh, and Dr. Tanji to have her come and speak. Yeah. Uh, we, we champion all that stuff and we're yeah. ready and we're available yeah. on the front lines because the marathon continues. Yes, it does. <laughs> it really, it really, really, does. really, really does. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. I don't know what it is that's going on now, but it's, it's something in the air that's almost unsettling, you know, yep. and I'm not a superstitious woman, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not, mm-hmm. but it's just something feels. We, we, and when you're a, uncomfortable, yeah, that, that's yeah. some good stuff. We, we don't think oh, is so. That, is that right? Then, yeah, <laughs> so that you know, that, yeah, we, we, yeah I, I've come to the realization that 
when you when you uncomfortable on, shift baby. and change has to happen come on yeah come on. absolutely yeah, and you absolutely. gotta push through and you gotta oh, push through yeah oh trust and believe in the abundance is is, is just waiting absolutely it's waiting yeah because we waiting. live from abundance yeah. we live from a place of abundancy not a place of lack uh, I think I said it once, if you continue to say what you don't want to see, that's the quickest way to get what you don't want, is just speak it. Just speak what you don't want to happen, and you can bet your bottom dollar it'll happen. Absolutely. It will, because of the power that you possess. Absolutely. So, without further ado, you don't mean to say that. <laughs> Excuse me, oh, guys. Like, I'm so what, what sorry. language? Look, how, how, are you multilingual? What do you? What language is that? You guys, you, you, you have no idea. This lady's smiling, but off off camera, she's she is someone that you definitely want to hire and say, you know what, I'm ready. But do not call her phone if you're not ready. If you're not ready, don't do it. If you're ready, and you know that you have what it takes to unleash that greatness that all of us was born with, Absolutely. okay, you can give this woman a call. Or if you don't have a genie in your city, okay, <laughs> connect with someone who will inspire you, yeah. someone that you can touch. I just, my, my prayer for you, my desire is that you live the life that you're supposed to live. You have no idea how much I really do want you to live a life full. I want you to... Do those things that perhaps you dreamt about and then never thought that, you know, that surely couldn't happen to me. Why not you? Why not? The thing I'm learning the most is don't quit. No matter what it looks like. And I've seen some days and I know we can all attest to, you know, where we've been or something we've experienced. But life does get easier. Even if you're in the middle of what's causing that 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 oomph that that makes you want to just kind of pull the covers back over your head, life really is to be lived. But you can't live it by yourself. You can't be on Patmos Island by yourself. We need one another. I need you. I do, and not just to push a button to say, "Hey, I like." or make a comment, but I need you to realize that you are not a mistake. You were meant to be here. You were, or else you wouldn't be. But now that you're here and you're of age to do something, let's get busy with your purpose. And let's, let's, let's do this together. And I really do mean that. I want you to smile more than you've ever cried in your life. I want you to laugh till your side hurts. And I want you to just be silly and, and, and know that no matter what, life really is good. And it's just the way when you're in that perfect will, when you're in his will, sorry, because his will is perfect, then life really is good no matter what. I just got to make certain that you understand that. Life is good. Keep smiling. I don't believe in faking it till you're making it. I just that 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 does not do anything for me. No, mm -mm, we're not faking it. And then what did Doctor <laughs> Frazier say? Rather carry a plastic bag with five grand oh, than a five gosh, grand purse with like a hundred in it. You know how many times have we been so guilty of that? I yep. have. We, I all, we, all, you know? we all we all have. <laughs> we all have, and and it's oh. systematic, unfortunately, in the society that we live right. in, and 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 images that we're constantly bombarded with online. Yes. And I mean, we've gotten to the point; <laughs> it's unbelievable every time I, I think about it that we we live vicariously through our smartphone. It sounds insane to say yeah, that, I know, but I, I mean, know. we do so. You know, that's what tells us how to look, how to feel. And yep. it's unfortunate because we're raising a generation. And that's why I'm so glad, you know, I'm so adamant about us mm -hmm. reaching back to our babies because yes. it's got to shift yes. from there. Yes, it does. We, we, we it really does. failed uh, yes. currently and, and just the immediate pushback. So we got to get to the babies. And that's another reason right. why um, Nipsey Hussle's legacy was so uh, impactful. Mm. And they saw what he was doing. He deliberately was building the babies, putting them in beautiful places they had never seen mm. before, 
in the hood of Crenshaw making incredible looking interiors and real estate in places oh, they had oh, never yeah. seen before, maybe just on social media yeah, that they yeah. could never touch. But he placed them inside of there and oh, educating them with STEM programs to stimulate the minds like he had just like his brother said bless his heart at his uh, service at the stable center last week he's like um i i am my brother's brother and his keeper but i knew uh i didn't have what he had he said wow. he said he said wow. we come from the same parents but you got something a little yeah. different i mean bringing yeah. in had never been you know educated in computers but yeah. we bring come brings know, home computer pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. and puts them in the floor at home in middle school okay doesn't have a clue hadn't read a book yeah, anything yeah, but he said but but I'm, I'm gonna bring these pieces home i'm gonna gather them from places i can find them you know and then asking a middle school oh, kid well what are you gonna do with this he said we're gonna figure it out and i'm gonna figure it out and, and then i'm gonna figure out software to help us do music and everything we want to do and everybody's like yeah. but where they do that at right. how you gonna right. do it right. he said just i don't yeah. know i don't know but i'm gonna figure it out and to come home one day and it's done oh my gosh you, you better oh you better know gosh. you bet you better know it was already destined already it was destined. already destined and it, it yeah. sounds so unreal but again once the mind once the hmm. passion and the drive and like you yes, said ma'am. dr tanji yes, you you you're passionate about something yeah. oh it, it, yeah. it will take shape oh, and absolutely. form absolutely and here's the beautiful thing about being passionate about something uh, that you feel like you need to do or that's just part of your calling of part of your purpose it will be tested it's, it's got to be. I think I said that once before Absolutely. for authenticity. It's got to be tested. I dare you to go around and, 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 and proclaim today I'm going to I'm, I'm going to not eat today and I'm, I'm going to lose some weight. and blah, 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 blah. Everybody who knows you will call you up and ask, hey, you want to go out to eat? Girl, I was just thinking about you and want to know if you want to go to your favorite restaurant. And I said all that to say to make light of it, but anything we do has to be tested it's got to just to see all right this is what you're supposed to be doing is this a part of the the purpose and the plan for your life and will it not only glorify your creator but will it help somebody the perfect the best business to be in is the people business you cannot go wrong can you really cannot so let's Let's inspire. Let's let's and, and, and I I I mean this from my heart. Let's let's do better. Yep. Let's let's take right now what we have because this is all we got. I I hope fifteen minutes is it's you know is my my destiny. <laughs> but this is this is all we got. Yeah. And we don't know oh when it's the gosh. end. You know. You and Doctor Fraser talk about it oh all the time. Man. You don't know when it's that final fifteen. Ooh. If if it, if it who you don't oh think got that if you've got yeah, that yeah. so I actually like that I mean the Doctor Tanji challenge yeah you know what 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 is your challenge I mean what what are you gonna do what are you gonna do yeah and that that's how actually that's how you need to kick off talk to how Tanji about that? you keep saying that you keep you, yeah. you hear her yeah. saying this right <laughs> we're yeah, gonna if, have to kick if we this if we off. if we if we kick that off and have everybody just chime in you know what huh. are you challenging everybody with. You, you know, know what, what I mean? I like and what, that. what are you going to do? And then to have a cross section of everybody who can okay. hear your voice and that's okay. online. Okay. Yeah, that way. Let's that's how do we it. get because we, we're doing this together. That's a Dr. Let's Tom's do way. We're doing this together. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Let's you do it. it. I'm so serious. No, that that's okay. the kickoff. That's the kickoff. That's the kickoff. All right, you guys heard it, right? All right, we're doing this and we're going to do it together. So stay tuned. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth here. <laughs> Mm. Before this week is over, <laughs> make an announcement. <laughs> an announcement will, will be made, but I, I got to have you helping me with this. All right. You're going to you're going to help me help you and we're going to do it together and we're going to finish. We're going to get to the finish line. How about that? I like it. All right. I like it. I'm okay. signing up. All right. Very yeah. good. I'm yeah. signing up too. Ty, Stokes, Francis, Tron, yep. uh, Morgan, everybody, Jamal, Michelle. Everybody, <laughs> everybody. Call all your peeps, oh all your fans. Oh my gosh, I am so serious. No matter serious. what city you're in, yeah, we're doing yeah, this together. Let's do this. Jordan, all right? Yep. All right. JJ, you too. Time to do it. Okay. All right, stay tuned because we're going to make this happen. And it's, we're not just going to be talking about it. We're going to have 
measurable goals yep. that can be met. And, you know, and then just chiming in every week and, and showing what we're doing by example. I love so, it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yep. All right. Who's up for it? I know you're listening. Yeah. All right, Annette. You're listening. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> and I challenge you to let's, let's do this. And then, Dr. Tanja, can you talk about um, you? I know you're working on uh, so many things, mm. uh, merchandise, and I, I can't wait as the uh, season unfolds and, and as we go into a very pivotal uh, season this coming fall and going into 2020 of mm. change and, and, and direction. Uh, so many things that we will address. And uh, speaking of things you're working on, your journal, wh- what will... Uh, some what are some key things along with talk to Tanji that you will want us to engage with on a, a weekly or monthly basis? Well, I would for the journal, and I'm glad you said that because I I, I have given Jeannie my word that it it is sometimes things come so easy that I'll procrastinate. Okay, mm-hmm. but that's another story. <laughs> With the journal, you'll be able to follow along with some of the things that I have either spoken about in times past or what I'm going to speak about. You'll actually have that in your hand and kind of take notes for your own life so you can measure where you were to where you are right now and where you, what your plan is. And in that, in that space of measurement, you've got to be really, really honest. You know, if, if, if you, Missed the mark. Okay, we're gonna. You're gonna be fine. Get up. Let's try it again. But I do not want you to hold on to something if it's something that you were supposed to do. Because there, in the journal, there's a couple of things that you really have to kind of put into motion, put mm-hmm. into play. Mm-hmm. But if you don't finish part one of it, it's okay. Do it. You know, do it tomorrow. But you got to get it done within the three days because each day has three. Things that you will have to kind of measure to see where you are, you know, if you're doing what you said you're going to do. Okay. And the, 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 the thing that I like about the, the rollout is you'll be able to have accountability um, with yours truly. You can log on and, and we can kind of dialogue. And if you wanted to be private, then, of course, you, we can have it where it's not, you know, where it is private and you have questions or what have you. But everything that we're going to do in this movement in this challenge it is not for show it is to make you to make us better people better versions of ourselves so that we can really get busy and do those kingdom things that we're supposed to do again the kingdom is not a place it is not a destination it is a lifestyle It is the way you think about your position in the world Simply put, my mentor said, the kingdom is man as God and earth as heaven. And that's as simple as I can put it. And that is so powerful. And uh, we appreciate that. And yeah, I'm just excited about y- your entire rollout. And like I said, and, and most importantly, that we're doing it together with uh, you wherever you are. And and, and I, I love so much how... Uh, the Dr. Tanji show opens. I mean, just where you are to where you want to be. Yeah. And everybody's journey is different. Oh God, we yes. all make mistakes. Oh, my um, and and I, I love the consistency I'm hearing about, you know, the failures being blessings, yeah. you know, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and then, and then you had, you know, Nipsey Hussle say just minutes, unfortunately before he was murdered to say that, you know, enemies, strong enemies are a blessing. Yeah. I mean, just minutes before. Minutes before, I just I can't wrap my mind. Yeah, around yeah, that. yeah. I, really I like I can, but but I'm I I it it, it forces you right. to to take it in and digest and begin to understand. Mm. You know, as best as you okay. can. Okay. And and that's where I mean, at some point in all of our lives, that there's there's that relatable thread. Yeah. You know, like I said, it doesn't yeah. matter what you've gone through oh, personally, uh, business, life, work, your children. Right. Um, you were like, OK, that yeah. was that was my moment, yeah. you know, and, and we constantly go through those Absolutely. moments. But what you hmm. do and how you do it is, is a difference. Right. And that's what I love about your platform, Dr. Tanja. You educate on uh, resolving. 
Oh, and, and, and getting through the process. So um, yeah. I, I cannot wait uh, yeah. till we roll out your journal and yeah. talk to Tanji series and, and just other things we have lined up. So yeah. it's it's going down. Yeah, it it's is. going it's going down in your DM. How okay? about that? <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Judy? Man, so what we got going on over there. Do we have someone who's checked in with us? Yeah. Yes, we do. We have uh, Tony, who's in Baltimore. Mm. And, of course, he was like, I was hoping that Dr. Frazier, we don't know if Dr. Frazier's coming to Baltimore, but I can tell you, if you stay interactive with Dr. Tanji and um, uh, Dr. George Frazier's, uh, mm-hmm. you can just Google him. I mean, it, we're constantly moving around. Okay. And, uh, you know, what I love about what Dr. Tanji's getting ready to do with this talk to Tanji, we will be on Facebook Live and uh, we'll be able to discuss these things and share these things mm-hmm. and on a weekly basis so right. that we can interact because he said he, uh, you know, is going through things. He hit you on Facebook about um, not having that support. Mm. And I noticed you mentioned that early when Dr. Frazier was on the air, having those mentors yeah. and that yeah person it doesn't have to be a big a big circle if you right. just find that person and as you evolve in life you find it's a right. circle of friends and supporters yeah. get smaller really and smaller it's like small, like honestly. really yeah and yeah. then sometimes you you'll feel lonely and nobody's there so that's where he is feeling right now okay. so uh okay. have you ever felt that oh, way dr tanja and how did oh you get gosh. through tony thank you first you're not for, alone and be yeah, more we with you here in that. la absolutely I would say to you that get used to it, and and, and I'm not being ugly, and I hope that I'm not offending you when I say this, but when there is so much that you have to do in life, you know, we really do not know when our last day on this earth is. We don't. And I get it. That sometimes can... Man, it, it can choke the life out of you to even try to experience something like death, but it is part it is a part of life and it is the only way that we can get out of this this life. So with that, Tony, my my advice to you is to keep your head so focused. I, I'm I'm sounding like one of my children here in the game rather, that you're so focused on what it is that you've got to do and the intent behind your doing it that you'll be so busy doing that, Tony, that you really, when you look up, you won't really feel that loneliness that you, you know, you're, you're feeling at this moment. Embrace it. Get used to it. Keep moving. Because when you've reached that pinnacle of, okay, I'm ready now to do what it is I've been working on, You don't have to worry about people not coming and not, you know, being there in your corner. They're going to they're going to make a line to your beeline to your door. And then you'll be in that driver's seat of, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Nope. mm -mm, Nope. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. And that's celebrate you celebrate what you're doing. You're going to be just fine. Honestly, you are. But don't take any shortcuts. The quickest way to failure is taking a shortcut. So please, in in this time of loneliness, you're going to be just fine. Get your work done and let your work speak for itself. That's what I would say. And that's um, perfect. You know, uh, because uh, I mean, it's a process. It is a process. It's an it's a never ending process oh, at God. that. Yeah. So um, you know, again, and when you have somebody like you, Dr. Tanji, and uh, Dr. George Frazier, who joined us earlier, um, you when you know you've been doing your thing for years. I mean, decades, and and, and every day is like a fresh start. Who are you telling? You know that <laughs> yeah. that's what's amazing about doing yeah. this thing together. I mean, every yeah. day the slate is wiped clean. It's Mm -hmm. like, what are you going to do today? Absolutely. What are you going to do today? You got to prioritize and definitely prioritize at night. Okay. Don't wake up trying to prioritize. It's too late. And I really do mean that. Do it at night. Go ahead and get it over. Get, do the first thing first and then subsequently put, you know, the easier task things that, you know, down, but first things first, that's, that's paramount when you are, implementing kingdom principles these principles are difficult but they're not to be lived okay 
or operate it in by your by yourself. You cannot do it by yourself. And what recommended uh, r- while we wait for our all important Dr. Tanji journal because we are doing this together and we need we need the journal <laughs> because we need to write down what's happening what's not happening so we can talk to Tanji okay not, it's on my calendar <laughs> write know, on journal see, see, no. <laughs> so so I'm on point <laughs> am I on point you're on point <laughs> um what you know um what books do you suggest we're we're, we're heading into uh mm. you know a lot of people on spring break right now right Perfect time to oh, absolutely. grab a, a, an ebook. What do you absolutely. suggest until Dr. Tanji's journal is available on Amazon? Anything, Dr. Miles Monroe. Dr. I Miles kid Monroe. Kid you not. Whether it's applying uh, kingdom principles, whether it's what is the kingdom and its principles, um, wisdom, vision. He he just systematically. This guy lived his life the way you know we're, we're we're still taking notes from his life and he's been you know deceased now what three years two or three years so yeah any anything dr miles monroe very absolute, impactful oh absolutely absolutely one of the wonderful gifts that we were we were left here with to enjoy and talking about um legacies oh my gosh you know? how important is that i started working on legacies maybe three years ago mm-hmm. that was the seventh time i'd gone broke mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. uh i said mm-hmm. uh okay <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't work we gotta oh so try to leave something for the kids and the oh grandkids generational wealth <laughs> You we gotta fix it. it. Oh, Stop man. the bleeding, you know. Mm. And once you do that, it, 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 it's gonna work out, you know. Whatever it is, it's going to work, and it'll work in your favor, and you will be able to leave a tangible legacy as well as, you know, ellipsy, ellipsy, lips. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's great. So make sure you yeah. stay interactive with Dr. Tanji throughout the week. Uh, we will be making a major announcement this week. So mm. uh, at Dr. Tanji show, just just follow. You'll know. You'll see blasts, and uh, we're gonna promote. And we need you to be a part of it because you are. You are actually her co-host. You really you know? are. So um, we just can't wait. We're doing this together. We're doing this with you and uh, the journey. Let's let's this ride. Let's yeah. ride. Let's ride. Absolutely. And you know, before I close, I I just want to again thank you so very very much for tuning in. Uh, you could have chose to do whatever you wanted to do in this amount, this allotted time, and you chose it to you know chose to be here with us. And for that, we are grateful. Please make sure that you are living. And not merely existing. And oftentimes that can be kind of difficult when you're faced with unsurmountable things that are going on in your life. Whether it's with your children or your spouse or your job or your business or whatever it is, your health. Please know that you're not in this by yourself. That we operate with this thing called faith. And when difficulties arise, we tie a knot in our faith and we hold on just a little bit tighter and we do know we do know not instinctively because humans don't have instincts but we do know that whatever has been started in our lives he will finish it okay you just be a willing vessel be willing to go along for the ride because it's a beautiful 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 uh, ride it is. Again, thank you for joining. Uh, take care of yourselves. And remember the smile. We love you dearly. And until next time, bye.